Hey there, Pavlos people. Um, sorry that this video is a little shaky and sorry I can't be there tonight. Um, so my team has let me know that I should let you know a little about how the project went in Ghana. Um, so just a reminder, I led the Women's Health and Education Project. Um, I felt it went really well. It was really well received. Uh, so there were two main aspects to the project, one being the Diva Cups and one being the handmade menstrual pads. So um, the pads definitely went over the best. They were easy to understand how to make, um, easier to understand how to use. Uh, the, the interest was there for sure. We established a contact there in Ghana uh, that is willing to keep teaching the workshop for the reusable pads why I'm not there and then they're willing to help the next group when you get there next year um, and really take you to different sites and have kind of those groups set up in advance that you can go um, teach to if you would like. Uh, so that contact's name is Solomon and his wife Georgina. They're really great. If you have questions about them, I'm sure the team um, can answer, especially I think Amanda and I spent most time with them out of everyone. So ask them if you want to know more about them specifically. But um, so they not only would like to continue the menstrual pad project with us, but they're looking at more women empowerment projects. They're really into that. Um, and so I have a contact in the U.S., Lynn Corker, who anything you want to know about women empowerment projects, um, she gave me the info for the menstrual pads, and she's more than willing to give you um, info for other like business related endeavor projects, things like that if if you'd like to expand it. So um, menstrual pads, I would say definitely continue next year. Um, definitely a need for it, definitely expand on it. Uh, it was an awesome experience. Everywhere that we went, um, I asked beforehand and then after. Uh, I would ask if girls had missed school before because of not having access to pads or things. People were kind of not so willing to admit that, understandably. Um, but then after, I always asked if they would raise their hand if um, they felt that today's workshop was useful and if this would be something that they used regularly. And every single person's hand went up in the room every time. Um, so that was pretty awing to me. Uh, so some other notes on that project is um, always go for smaller groups. They're going to want you to do bigger groups, bigger groups. I wouldn't do more than 30 people at a time. It, it makes it kind of difficult to teach a really a really large group and we ended up getting mobbed at one point um, so <laughs> that was kind of rough we figured it out but um, little groups you can teach them more effectively and they get more out of it and um, then you don't feel guilty like not enough people are getting something uh, a second note is while the menstrual cups are very much so wanted there I don't feel that there is sustainable but there is still interest for them Dr. Roxon um, in the Tyne District really had kind of a passion for learning about them and he was super helpful to explain them so it's not culturally um, accepted to insert something into your body to deal with your menstrual cycle there so he was really good at helping us explain how that would work and offering to have the girls come to him if they thought they weren't doing it right or maybe had an infection or something from it um, so culturally I think the menstrual pads um, would be easier to do, make more sense. They have materials there to remake them themselves. There's a contact there that will help you find more groups. I strongly encourage you go back next year, shoot for 200 girls. I did shot for 50 and reached about 150. Um, definitely would recommend doing that and expanding on it into more women's health and education projects. Uh, so if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. You can grab my email from any of my teammates um, and or you can call me if you want. Um, I'm happy to talk on the phone anytime I get off work about 5 o'clock central time, so 6 o'clock your time there in Houghton, and I'm more than happy to help and offer any of my knowledge on any of this. So. Thanks, sorry again that I couldn't be there, and I'll hopefully hear from some of you guys soon. Bye.